I can do any. Well, hello again, and welcome to another edition of Math Rocks. Today, we are going to be talking about a count up method number one. And what that is, is our number line. Okay, so we're going to take a real simple problem such as, oh, 59 minus 34. Okay, something real simple, real easy to do. Okay, so right here, that's our target. And you might ask at home, what is a target number? Well, a target number is the one that we are looking to count up to. Okay, and this 34 is going to be the one that we start with. So as the kids out there in TV land are going to start to make, what I want them to do is make a number line right now. So we're going to make a number line over here, and I'm going to put a line here, and I'm going to put a line over there. One of those is going to be the target number, which is 59. So I'm going to put that one over here. And now again, this is a very simple problem. We'll do another one that's a little bit tougher after this one. The first one here is going to be our starting number, and that's going to be 34. The reason you put both of those on is now we're going to take this number line, and we are going to divide it up into sections so that we can practice counting up. Because sometimes in a problem that's a little tougher than this, we can get messed up with the algorithm. So we look here, and we have 34. Well, I have to go to the next thing to get 5, so I'm going to go there, and that's going to give me a benchmark number, then we're going to go one, two, three, four, boom, benchmark, one, two, three, four, benchmark, 34, that's going to be 35, 40, 45, one, two, three, four, 50, one, two, three, four, 55, one, two, three, and then that would be the fourth one for 59. So basically what we did is we went from 34 to 59. Now this practice alone is fantastic for your third grader at home. Just getting them to be able to count and put those benchmark numbers in will help them in solving all of these problems here. So while they're putting that on, we'll take a look and we are here at 34. In number line addition, counting up, what we do is we jump from number to number. So the first thing that we're gonna do is always find ourselves in a benchmark or friendly number. So we're very well aware that the first one are fives and tens. So we're gonna make one jump to 35. Now as they do that, they're gonna to wanna to put a plus one above because what we did is we added one. So we went from 34 and we added one to make 35. Now, we don't have to do individual small little jumps if we don't want to. Remember, depending on the level you're at and the countability that you have, you can. You could go five, count by five, count by five. You could do that if you'd like. So we'll kind of go here, and just to make it easy, there's one that would be from 35 to 40. That'd be a plus five. Now, we might go, hey, wait a minute. I, I can go 40 to 50. That's real easy for me. I, I can do that. So my next one might be a jump like that. But 40 to 50, that's a plus 10. Okay? And we want to avoid anything that's not like a benchmark number if we can so we want to go 50 to 55, so that's going to be a plus 5. And then we have 1, 2, 3. Our last jump is plus 4. Now, we're going to add those up. Remember, if you can jump 20 at a time, it's OK. Do what is best for you to solve. So now we have all of these numbers that are on top. OK? So I start with 10, and then I've got 5 and 5. So 5 and 5 is? 10, and then I've got a 4 and a 1, 4 and a 1. So, now I just add those numbers up, 10, 20, and 25. So I look over here, I've got 25. And that is a basic number line count up. Welcome back everyone to Math Rocks, the counting up method number one with the number line. Now this is the second part of this series, and now the last one was a very simple one. Now we're going to add a much more difficult problem. So we're going to look here at 253 minus, well, let's say 127. 
So you can see already, we've got some troubles. Now, first thing the kids are already doing out there is they're establishing which one of these two numbers is the target number. They're very well aware that this first one is the target. So 253. So as they're making their number line, they know they've got two ends, and they know that this one down here is the target number. This number right here is the beginning number. And that's 127. Okay? So now, before they can start, great practice again for them is trying to get from 127 to 253 finding benchmark numbers. So for at 127, we have to count up three to get to our next benchmark number. So they'll go one, two, three, boom. And that's going to be 130. All right, now we got to go quite a ways this time, so we're going to have to put a lot of things in. So if I go here, knowing I've got space, I can go here, that's 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 50, 1, 2, 3. Now, you're probably looking going, but he didn't put any of the single ones or he didn't put any of the fives in. Well, in the number line, I won't need those because we'll be counting by tens to get to our number. Okay, but you notice whenever we get to them, we can put those single ones in. All right, so let's take a look at our jumps now and how we get there. So we're at 127 to 253. The first thing I do is I get to a benchmark number. So 127, I'm going to be making a plus 3 hop to 130. Now, it depends on the level of the student on this next one. I can do individual jumps by 10, or some of them might count ahead and go, I can do bigger ones. All right, so we'll do a little bit of both. So my first one, I might have a student go, I'm going to go from there, 130 to 140, that's a plus 10. Right, plus 10. Now I can go 10 more, and that'll get me to 150. But now 150 is a bigger benchmark number, and I think a lot of kids know that from 150 to 200 is going to be a 50-point jump. So now I'm at 200. And now I look, I can still go to 250 again. So I could make another 50-point jump. Now my benchmark number's here. I can't go 10, I can't go 5. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3. That's a plus 3. And we have now reached our target number. So to find the answer to 253 minus 127, all we do is go add up our tops. So we've got 50 and 50. And then we've got 10 and 10, and 10 and 10 is 20. And then we've got two 3s, and I know two 3s is 6. Right? And then we add those. And now if you notice the adding, it's almost all benchmark numbers. We've taken all of the crazy algorithm out of this for them, and now we have to do this problem to figure it out. So I got 6 and 0 is 6, 5 and 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, and I now know that 126 plus 127 is 253. And that is the counting up method number one. I can do anything, I can reach any goal today.